Hi, hello, welcome to home school. This is your class 10 mathematics. Today onwards, we are going to begin a revision schedule. In such a way, we are going to discuss most expected questions for mathematics examination. Before starting this revision schedule, uh, you should be perfect with all the formulas. So just once uh, we have a recap of all the formulas by seeing this video. See there, I have provided you two videos. In that two videos, I have discussed only the formulas of class 10 mathematics. Just watch that video and come back and then let us begin with the revision. Completely watch the two videos and then write all the formulas one or two times. Be perfect. Then listen to this revision video. Okay, let's begin with the first chapter, arithmetic progression. In this chapter, if you see all those videos, you will be perfect with all the formulas. First problem, if a n is equal to a 10 minus 2, then find a 4. In the term, value something given for us. You need to find the value of fourth term. a n is equal to a 10 minus 2. Simple technique. What number you have here? 4. Right? Wherever you see n, there you just substitute the number 4. Let's begin the solution by writing given data again. Given a n is equal to a 10 minus 2. We need to calculate a 4. a 4 is equal to question mark. You can write there. Now, in n place, where is n? In that place, you just substitute the number 4. a4 is equal to 8. And don't try to write 4 like this. In n place, you are substituting 4. It is correct. But don't write beside like this. Without bracket, you should not write. Without bracket, if you write, what happens? It becomes the number 84. Right? So, always make a habit of putting here bracket. 8 into 4 minus 2. 8 fours are 32. 32 minus 2 will be 30. Therefore, fourth term is 30. That's it. Easily you will score 2 marks. So, shall we do other problems? Okay. Let me take one more problem here. A n is equal to 5 minus 2 n. 5 minus 2 n. Find second term. Find second term means observe here wherever you have n substitute the number what you need to find. Second term that means 2 you need to substitute. A2 is equal to 5 minus you have n here right put a bracket and put the number 5 minus 2 2 is 4 5 minus 4 it is 1. Second term A2 value is 1. So, if you understand this, you can try these three problems and send the answers for me without forgetting. Right? So, look here. The three problems are a n is equal to 2 n square. Find a 2. Find the value of a 2. a n is equal to 5 minus 2 n. Find the value of a 3. a n is equal to n square plus 4. Find the value of a 5. And 10th term. See here uh, in your question paper. They may give you either in A5, A3, A6, A10 like this they may ask. Or they may ask you 5th term, 20th term, 7th term like this they may ask. Suppose here it is 10th term. 10th term is nothing but A10. Okay, 10th term means you put there A10, N plus substitute 10 and get the answer. And if you have any little confusion with n square see here suppose if a n is equal to uh, 2 n square minus 1 there another question right so find a 3 find a 3 wherever you have n substitute 3 3 whole square minus 1 observe here square is only for the n square is only for n so, put brackets and put here whole square. 
Now do whole square and then multiply with 2. 3 3 is 9. 9 2 is 18. 18 minus 1 that is 17. If you have any n square, 2 n square, 3 n square or n cube anything there like this you need to solve. So let's move to the second problem. Find the 10th term of an AP. 2, 8, 14, so on. See arithmetic sequence is given here. So you need to find 10th term. 10th term is nothing but 8 n. First take that arithmetic progression. Let me start the solution here. Given given arithmetic progression. What is that arithmetic progression? 2, 8, 14, so on. Right? What we need to find? 10th term. That means a 10 is equal to question mark. So we need to calculate 10th term. How can we calculate 10th term? So we remember the nth term formula. That is a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. A n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. What is a? a is a first term. What is small d? Small d is common difference. n is a number of the term. Right? By observing that arithmetic progression, we need to find first a and d. Observe here. First term a1, a2, a3 you can write. Right? A is nothing but the first term. A is equal to A1 is equal to what number you can see? 2. Right? Comma. Next, let me find the common difference. Common difference, how can we calculate? Small d is equal to A2 minus A1. What is A2 value? 8. 8 minus A1 value is 2. 8 minus 2 is 6. Common difference is 6 and first term is 2 and we need to calculate the 10th term. If any arithmetic progression is given, first find A, then D, then substitute in it. Right? So, N place what you are going to write? 10, A value is 2 plus 10 minus 1 into 6. D value is 6, right? So, this will be 2 plus 10 minus 1 is 9 into 6. 2 plus 9, 6, 54. 54 plus 2 will be 56. Therefore, therefore, 10th term value is how much? 56. Is this clear? So, once again, the given arithmetic progression, observe carefully. Write A1 first term. Second term A2, third term A3, so on, right? So first term is nothing but A. A is equal to first term A1 is equal to what number you have to write that. Common difference D is equal to A2 minus A1 you do children. Don't do A1 minus A2, right? A2, 8, A1, 2, 8 minus 2, D value is 6. After getting A and D, you can find any term. So, let me find any other term now. They have asked only 10th term. Okay, shall we find 5th term? Okay, look here. A5. A5 is equal to. What is nth term formula? An is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. Already I know A and D. So, just A value is 2. N value is 5. 5 minus 1 into 6. 2 plus 5 minus 1 is 4. This is equal to 2 plus 4, 6 are 24. 24 plus 2, 26. Therefore, what is the fifth term? Fifth term value is 26. If you know A and D, any term you can find. If you understand this, you can try these three problems as a homework. So, let's see the first problem. Find 15th term, the given arithmetic progression is 1, 4, 7, 10, so on. Find 30th term, the given arithmetic progression is 10, 7, 4, so on. 50th term, 5, 10, 15, so on. Okay. Third problem, which term of the AP 
थ्री एट थर्टीन सो ऑन इज सेवेंटी एट Try to understand the question carefully. Which term of the AP is seventy-eight? That means the given arithmetic progression. In that progression, somewhere you get the number seventy-eight. At what place? That means which term? That means n. You are going to find out. So read the question carefully and try to answer these type of problems. So let's begin with the solution. Given arithmetic progression, given three, eight, thirteen, so on. Okay, and seventy-eight. Seventy-eight is part of this progression. So what can I take seventy-eight? I will take here a n is equal to seventy-eight. We don't know. We don't know which term is seventy-eight. So let me take it as nth term is seventy-eight. And by taking this arithmetic progression, find a and d value. You are going to calculate the n value, right? So same manner, a one, a two, a three, so on. First term a is first term is a. So what's the number you have? Three. Okay. Common difference d is equal to a two minus a one. A two value is eight. A one value is three. Eight minus three is five. D is equal to five. So we know the general term of arithmetic progression. That is, a n is equal to a plus n minus one into d. Which term is seventy eight? We have assumed a n as seventy eight. Substitute that value here. Seventy eight is equal to. And your a value is three. n we don't know n value n minus 1 into d value is 5 so substitute here 78 plus 3 here transfer to other side minus 3 multiply the brackets 5 into n 5n plus into minus minus 5 into 1 5 78 minus 3 it will be 75 is equal to 5n minus Five, okay. This minus five. Bring this side. Seventy-five plus five is equal to five n. Seventy-five plus five is eighty is equal to five n. And this multiple transpose other side. That means we are going to divide. So five table where you get eighty. Five ones are five. Three left thirty. Five six are thirty. Therefore n is equal to sixteen. So therefore, n is equal to sixteen. By the way, what is this sixteen? Which term is seventy-eight? Therefore, sixteenth term is seventy-eight. End up this problem with a tiny statement. Therefore, for the given arithmetic progression, sixteenth term is seventy-eight. Let's see the homework problems for this main five, ten, fifteen, so on. E is eighty. Means which term is eighty? You should find out, right? Arithmetic progression two four six eight and which term is twenty six one four seven ten so on is arithmetic progression which term is fifty two so I did not write complete statement I have given you homework in shortcut but see the original question by this right which term of the arithmetic progression is eighty you have to understand okay let's move to the next problem. Fourth problem: Find the sum of two plus five plus eight plus so on up to twenty terms. What is this question? We are going to find the sum of the terms. How many terms? Sum twenty terms. So take the arithmetic progression first. Given given arithmetic progression is what? Two plus five plus eight plus so on, right? How many terms we need to add? Twenty terms. Adding yes, you should remember. That means yes, twenty is equal to question mark. Sum of twenty terms we are going to calculate now by seeing the arithmetic progression. Find out a and d. First term same manner a one, a two, a three. 
first write a value a is the first term that is a is equal to a1 is equal to 2 then common difference d is equal to a2 minus a1 that is 5 minus 2 that will be 3 common difference is 3 in order to find s20 we should remember sn formula what is that we know that sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d 2a plus n minus 1 into d n n value is how much 20 n number of terms how many terms i should add 20 therefore n place you substitute 20 s 20 is equal to here you can see n again substitute that 20 by 2 into 2a a value is 2 take a bracket and write 2 plus n value is 20 minus 1 into d value is 3 okay now cancel this one 2 tens are 20 10 into 2 twos are 4 plus 20 minus 1 is 19 19 into 3 this will be 10 into 4 plus 19 threes are 57 okay 57 plus 4 it is 61 61 into 10 it will be 6 10 is your answer therefore what is sum of 20 terms for the given arithmetic progression it is 6 10 that's it very easy to understand so let me repeat the problem again given arithmetic series first number write a1 second number a2 third number a3 first term is nothing but a value d value is subtract first term from second term that is a2 minus a1 5 minus 2 that is d is equal to 3 sum of how many terms 20 terms so n value is 20 substitute in sn formula and get the answer if you understand this you can type these homework problems let's see the first problem 5 plus 8 plus 11 plus so on up to 10 terms that means we are going to add 10 terms as 10 we are going to calculate right here second one 2 plus 7 plus 12 plus so on up to 20 terms and you can expect other way of asking the same type of question that is sum of 22 terms of an arithmetic progression 8 comma 3 comma minus 2 comma so on that means given arithmetic progression is this find sum of 22 terms that means s22 you are going to calculate okay so these four problems understand carefully and solve the homework problems and in our next video i am going to discuss some more problems so like this i am going to continue this passing package series so let's have a break now and complete these homework problems and I am going to end the session now and we are going to meet in our next session with next important problems. Until that keep watching. Thank you all.